Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with your afternoon video update for Tuesday, December 15th. While we do have improving road conditions across the state this afternoon, continue to expect scattered slick areas through tonight and even part of Wednesday. We're getting to that time of year where the sun angle is pretty low, so we need more energy than what we normally get to break up those roads. We do get it, just not as fast. Into tonight and Wednesday, we will see increasing wind gusts along our wind-prone sections, mainly I-80 and 25 again, but the Cody Foothills, and even South Pass could get in on some stronger wind gusts overnight tonight through part of Wednesday as well. Later on in the week, the models have come together for a quick-hitting snowmaker around Thursday afternoon through midday Friday. Certainly not a gargantuan storm, but the consensus has kind of come in for some areas to get some minor accumulations. We'll check out where those might be in a minute. Then looking further ahead towards the weekend, Getting closer to Christmas, we still have the potential for widespread high winds, especially on Sunday, although we are looking at some strong wind gusts to move in throughout part of the day on Saturday as well. Tonight, light to breezy winds will start to increase along sections of I-80 and 25. By the time we get to Wednesday morning, most of this area, mainly Elk Mountain and Arlington, the summit, and even between Chugwater and Wheatland, going to get in on some wind gusts that will get up to about 45 to 55 with some gusts over 60 as well. South Pass and the Cody Foothills could also get in on some stronger wind gusts with isolated to widely scattered snow showers building in, especially over the mountains and surrounding valleys overnight tonight. Light amounts in the low elevations with some spots in the mountains, mainly the northern Tetons and near Yellowstone, possibly getting about 2 to 5 inches through Wednesday morning. Otherwise, the rest of the plains, mainly dry and cold conditions continuing for tonight, with the exception of part of the Bighorns getting a little isolated snow activity. Maybe a flurry or two in the southwestern plains, otherwise dry and cold with light to breezy winds as well. Tomorrow's graphic looks very similar. Strong winds throughout the day, over 50 and 60 miles an hour along the I-80 and 25 wind corridors with daytime snow showers impacting the snowy and Sierra Madres, perhaps getting a couple inches there. More widely scattered snow showers will also continue overnight through early Thursday in the western mountains, most areas getting a trace to two inches of new snow. However, that'll be just enough to keep those mountain passes and surrounding roadways at least scattered slick and especially throughout the high country. Now here's a graph of what we could see as far as snow goes through midday Friday. This is at about 11 a.m. on December 18th. A trough of low pressure will dig in over much of the northern Rockies and provide moisture and energy for some scattered snow showers possible throughout many areas of the state. The far western mountains may see some accumulations of about 2 to 5 inches, with portions of the central and southwestern plains also possibly under the gun for about two to four, maybe some localized higher mounts in some of the higher elevations through about midday Friday. Several of the modeling suites have come together on this possibility, so as we get through the next 24 hours, we'll certainly keep an eye on if some of these snowfall amounts will suffice. We'll also see some minor road impacts if we get some breezy winds with this trough, could see some areas of blowing snow along sections of I-80 and also west central Wyoming. Looking further into the weekend, this is 2 p.m. on Sunday, and this is an illustration of some of the strong wind gusts we could be looking at. Again, fast-moving jet stream winds will mix to the surface. We'll have an area of low pressure in the far northern tier with a high-pressure ridge over the southwestern plains of the United States. That pressure difference typically results in some very strong wind gusts that could extend along I-80, gusts 55 to even over 60 miles an hour in the trouble areas with the Cody Foothills and South Pass, Western Mountain areas also getting in on some very high wind gusts as well. The adjacent plains could see some 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. And if you're traveling this weekend in light and high profile vehicles, going to have to kind of really grip the wheel. Luckily, though, conditions on the plains should be mainly on the dry side. We'll continue to watch this as we move through the week. Thanks for listening and watching. We'll talk to you again next time.